All right, y'all. So we are back with some pretty big changes, man. Um, there's some interesting changes. We have a hero who's actually going to be a little, little bit stronger, like literally five times stronger. And yeah, so that that's going to be interesting. But I still don't think it's going to do much. He suffers from the same problem as most of the older heroes, which is the fact that he has a lack of mobility in this meta. So I, while I think he does do good damage, it takes the right type of team for him to work. The same situation with Layla. Um, so yeah, getting into the hero who the actual hero is. It's Valir. So they optimize the skill effects. The allies can easily distinguish when the skills are casted and stuff by um, enemy heroes and everything. So you'll, you'll be able to see when he's casting certain abilities now a lot better. And um, basically the way that they buffed him is his um, searing torrent. So that's when he actually pushes the fire out and makes it go forward and pushes everybody back. And basically what happened is the um, base bonus damage dealt by the end of the tur turret adjusted from 270 plus skill level times 15 to 280 plus skill level times 20. So that's a five times um, stronger than it just was. And also they gave it a little bit extra base damage. They gave it 10 more base damage as well. So um, yeah, like I said, I think he's going to suffer from the same thing that um, Layla suffers from. It's the lack of game knowledge. Every every time you get into a game, a lot of people aren't even... You got to think about the fact that a lot of people who play Mobile Legends don't even watch YouTube like that. So, you're just... It, it's inevitable that some people just aren't going to know what they're doing. And that's why it's the matchmaking's job to figure out who's actually a skilled player and who's not. Which it doesn't do right now. And that's one of the biggest problems. But... A lot of people just don't know how to differentiate how you're supposed to be playing. So when there's a Layla, you play differently. You have to take your time. I've seen so many teams that when they have a Layla on their team, they're constantly aggressive trying to push up and kill. When with Layla, you're supposed to be waiting back, waiting for her to get strong, waiting for her to get fed. Because the later in the game that you get, the more and more unstoppable she becomes. If Layla stays alive until like the, what, 10, 15, the 15 minute mark around there, you automatically win there's nothing that they can do if you let Layla stay alive that long and just farm and get stronger and stronger there's absolutely nothing that you can do to win that game against the Layla so that that's what you have to do with certain heroes and I think Valir is one of those heroes where um, he can do a lot of damage but you have to have that right team comp it, it can't like you have to play it the right way and yeah I don't know that if he's that important of a hero also because of his kit I mean he does a lot of damage that ultimate can be detrimental um, he does a lot of damage, but I, I, I still would rather have like a Cyclops or Harley on my team to be completely honest with you. But let me know what you all think about that. Do you think that Valera, the Valera change matters at all? Is, is he going to get more time played or anything from it? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Um, then Leslie, Leslie, Leslie got a nerf, yo. Why? Why did Leslie get a nerf? But <laughs> it's nothing too, too huge. Basically, her health points growth has been adjusted from 139 to 125, so she gets a little bit left, less health. Um, so, yeah, that, that's going to be pretty annoying. I don't think that, that, like, when people were talking about nerfing Leslie, I don't feel like that was the nerf they was talking about. <laughs> I, I would assume that people would want nerfed her just one and two shotting people. Like, that, that's what I would assume people were actually talking about, but apparently getting giving Leslie less health is, um, I, I don't even know what, what this change is for. I don't know why. I, I don't know why. So, um, yeah, th that's what happened to Leslie. Um, I don't think it changes absolutely anything. But, yeah, let me know what you all think. There also was a change where Leslie's ability, Master of Camouflage, they fixed a problem where the skill would also become just permanently locked. So, when you pressed it, you just couldn't press up a skill anymore. So, you were just basically defenseless. And, honestly, that's a little bit of a buff. <laughs> because if you got caught with that, if you got caught with that bug, you would be useless but now you can't get caught with that bug so it's going to happen less frequently which means leslie is going to destroy people a lot more so eh, it's not a buff it's just making sure she works like she was supposed to be working from the start um but yeah that that's what's going to be going on with leslie um we have another hero on here as well what's interesting about this hero is yeah she's she actually is i've seen the impact and the difference that she's making now so vexana is actually going to be getting a nerf as well Basically, what they're saying is Vexana, since she's been changed and she can call out puppets and stuff so easily now, um, they, they're trying to make her a little bit weaker because it is like I, I was I didn't I got caught off guard. Honestly, I got caught off guard because you all know that I take breaks in between playing a lot of mobile legends because I be focusing on YouTube and other stuff like that. So when I saw Vexana just out here summoning up summoning up um puppets without killing people i'm like what what is going on right now and that was pretty annoying because i didn't expect that like i thought oh i got a clean giveaway i, I mean i got a clean getaway and then i just look behind me and i'm looking at myself like 
what what are you doing here and it's, it's crazy um so <laughs> basically um basically what they did is they changed her damage so when it comes down to charm specter the damage modifier has been adjusted from one to 0 0.6 and that's pretty big that's almost half that's literally that's literally almost been cut in half so that, that's going to do a decent amount less damage um also cursed oath the cooldown time has been adjusted from 60 uh, maximum to 50 to 60 seconds at max level um so yeah i don't i don't really know what that means and then they have continuous damage modifier adjusted from 0 0.3 to 0 0.2 so that one does less damage as well um it's not exactly half actually it, it almost is half as well um it, it's almost half so yeah let me know what you all think about that do you all think this is going to be a big deal um, do you think this is going to be a big well obviously it's going to be a big deal for Vexana but even though she's been updated and even though she's been changed I still don't see her that much in games so let me know if you're a Vexana player how you feel about this um, is this going to really impact your play with her and will you just switch to somebody else now I don't, I don't know how big this is going to be but yeah that's pretty much it man these three heroes are going to be getting changed um, we got some nerfs coming in um, buff coming in as well so yeah let me know what you all think in the comment section down below um, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're new for more mobile legends content we drop daily um, make sure you yeah drop the thumbs up subscribe and I'm gonna catch y'all on the next one fam peace out y'all